This train arrived uh, last night to Paris and will be unloaded uh, today. At this freight station outside the French capital, the end of a journey across two continents. So this train carried consumer goods all the way from China to France. Headbands, electric bikes, sweatshirts, shoes, you name it. But also items that are used in industry. Components and spare parts like steering wheels, like valves, tubes. And then all of them are going to be trucked to their final destination. Rail only accounts for about 5% of goods transported between China and Europe. That number, though, set to tick up as an old trading route is brought back to economic relevance. Beijing has been promoting, even subsidizing it, part of its Belt and Road Initiative aimed at increasing trade ties and China's economic clout. More than 6,000 miles from the city of Xi'an through Kazakhstan, Russia, Belarus, Poland, Germany, and further into Europe. An odyssey usually completed in less than a month. The train is uh, this advantage to, to be uh, able to have uh, uh, circulation within three or four weeks between Europe and China. The time uh, is more quick and time is money, of course. The value of time not lost on businesses, especially those that ship expensive cargo. Luxury French furniture brand Ligne Rosé sells its iconic sofas around the world, with 20% of exports going to China usually by boat. So this container full of furniture is about to leave for Xingtao on China's east coast. It should get there in about 50 days. Now a similar container left yesterday by train and that should get there in 35 days. These last few months the maritime route has been a nightmare, says the group's transport director. Shipping has become two or three times more expensive and a lot slower. Europe, China by sea is now taking up to 70 days compared to 40 previously. The pandemic has thrown the global supply chain into disarray. An increase in demand and a shortage of labor to work the ports and drive the trucks has led to scenes like these, a bottleneck of cargo. And so the good old fashioned freight train is making a comeback. Near Paris, the director of development here expects the number of trains plying the Europe-China route to double by the end of the decade. The only spanner in the works? Even trains, billed as more reliable, are not completely immune to the pandemic. This one arrived two weeks late after multiple German operators came down with COVID. We live with the pandemic like everybody. As we say in French, c'est la vie. Cyril Vanier, CNN, Paris.